Hey guys, today we're gonna be making an animated background using only a bit of CSS and it's gonna look something like this here and we're gonna have two shapes, one is gonna be square and the other one is gonna be circle and they're gonna be completely random where they move and we're gonna have a single div here with a class of container that's just gonna fold all of them And then under that, we want to add a span. So we're going to make a single span for now. And we're just going to copy paste that however many times you guys want. But I'll paste it nine more times. So we're going to have 10 of these spans. And all of them are going to be empty like now. And that's all the HTML we're going to have. So here we can link our CSS. So I didn't create one yet, but we're going to make style.css here. So now inside our style, let's target all the elements first. We're going to add a box sizing, border box, and we're going to remove margin and padding. Then the next thing we have is the container that's going to be holding all of them. And we're going to make it full width and min height of 100 bh. We're also going to make it position relative here. Then we can target our span. We're going to make it 20 pixels by 20 pixels, so width of 20 and height of 20 pixels. And for the background, we're going to use RGB8. So 255, 255, 255, and the last one, let's do 0 0.2. We're also going to make it display block. And for now, let's just add some background here so we can see it so for our container i'll just add a background so now we see our spans all the way here on the left we're also going to make it position absolute because we're going to put them randomly on the page something on the left something on the right and let's just keep that for now so now we want to target a specific span we want to change so we can do span and then target the first one with nth child one and now we're going to adjust the width and height first. So let's make this 80 by 80. So this is going to be only for our first span. We're going to do left 25%. And we're going to add animation. The delay of 0 seconds. So all of our spans are going to have animation, but we're going to mess with delay and also with duration on most of them. And we're going to add that later on with keyframes, but for now we can just add that animation here. So we can call it animate, 25 seconds, and we're gonna do linear infinite. So this is always gonna run. So that's our first span. So now we can just copy this, depending on how you guys wanna have it. Then the next one we can do the same. Let's do 20 by 20. And let's do left 10%. We're gonna add duration, so animation, dash duration at 12 seconds and we're going to change the delay to 2 seconds and we need to change this to child 2 so you're not going to be able to see these animations yet until we add keyframes for them but let's copy this child 2 now because we want to target all of them so we want to target child 3 here and again you can just mess with these values we can leave this one the same if we wanted we can change this so it starts in another position then we're not going to add duration we're just going to add a delay here and we can put it at like four seconds then we have child four we're going to make this 60 pixels by 60 and for left we can do 40 percent we're going to add a duration for this one 18 seconds and we're gonna select the delay b0 we can copy that again this is child 5 we're gonna make this 20 by 20 and for the left we're gonna do 65 percent we're gonna remove this and just leave the delay at zero then we have child 6. So depending on how many you guys have, if you want to only have the two shapes, you can target uh, odd and even. That I'll show you in a second. But if you want to target a specific one, we can just do it like this. 
So this is going to be our sixth one. And do 110 for the width and height. And for the left, let's just do 75%. We're going to remove the duration and let's keep the delay at 3 seconds for this one. And this is going to be number 7. I'm going to make this a bit bigger 150 by 150. Left is going to be 35%. And then for the delay, let's move this to like 7 seconds. Then under that, we have child 8. We're going to make this a bit smaller, also like 25 pixels by 25. We're going to change left to 50%. We're also going to add animation dash duration of 45 seconds. And for delay, we're going to keep this at 15 seconds. And we have two more to add, so child 9. We're going to make this one a bit smaller, 15 by 15 pixels. And left is going to be 20%. We're going to keep this at 35% for duration. And the delay is going to be 2 seconds. And then for the last one, this is going to be child 10. We're going to make this 150 pixels for width and height. And we're going to add 85% for the left. And for our duration, we're going to do 11 seconds. And we're going to set delay to 0. So now we created all of the spans we need here. So firstly, let's add animation for these. So we're going to add, add keyframes. And we call it animate. And we're going to have 0%, so starting value, and then 100% for ending value. So for our 0%, we're going to have a transform. Translate Y. So it's going to be at 0 at the beginning. And rotate at 0 degrees and it's going to start from opacity 1 so we're going to toggle both the opacity and the transform here so then for 100% we're going to have the same thing so transform translate y and we're going to have minus 1000 pixels for this one and for rotate we're going to have 720 degrees and we want to set the opacity to 0. So it should toggle from opacity 1 to 0. Now if we save that, it looks a bit weird still. So let's go back all the way up here. Firstly, we want to add the overflow of hidden to our container. And then for our span, we want them to start at the bottom. So we don't want them to start here. But we also don't want to show them, so we're going to do bottom. And we're going to do minus 150 pixels. So now we won't be able to see them at the beginning, but they're going to be animating from the bottom here. And then the only thing that's left here is to make them a different shape. So for that, you can also do it inside specific element you want to change. But I'll just do it for odd and even. So we can do that here on the top as well. Or, the, or on the bottom, doesn't really matter. So we're gonna have span mph-child and odd. And the only thing we wanna change is the border radius. So we're gonna make this one a circle. So we're gonna add border radius of 50% for, everyone, for every element that's odd. And then we're gonna have span mth-child even. And we can just add a bit of border radius. It's still gonna be a square. But we're going to add both the radius of like 10, 12 pixels. So now if we save that, we're going to see both squares and circles coming up. So we have a square here and here. And we have circles, squares. And this is always going to be animating because we have infinite here as well. So that would be it for our final project. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.